Chapter 291, Drawing an IOU, Part 3 I wonder if the old priest would be angry or not. I wonder if the old priest got eaten by a wild animal. In Lu Xu's mind, many possible instances that flashed past in a moment. His hand trembled and his lance almost slipped off and fell. He kept all the lances into the seal of lands before returning. He had heard from Jiang Shui mentioning about the old priest being responsible for guarding the country. Even if he despised the other party's extremely polite method of asking whether he wished to be his apprentice when his real intention was to get Xiaoyu to be his apprentice. However, Lu Xu's heart was still full of respect for him. After all, if there were no one protecting the country, how could there be peace and harmony within the country right? After returning back to the open space, Lu Xu was taken aback for a moment. When he left, the old priest was fine as he regulated his breathing cross-legged. Now, he was lying on the ground. Lu Xu ran over quickly, Heavenly King? Are you okay, Heavenly King? Heavenly King. You cannot meet a mishap now, we have yet to find the Matrix I. Heavenly King, you can let me know if you have any last wishes. Chen Baili couldn't hold back and opened his eyes. He replied weakly, I am not dead yet. Coughs. Lu Xu looked at the weak appearance of Chen Baili. He really didn't think that someone who was a heavenly king could be injured to such an extent. If it was like this, the other player must have been much more powerful than you. After fighting with me, he still was able to escape from here. However, these words couldn't be said in front of Chen Bai Li. He was afraid that it might anger the old heavenly king. There was a need to know when to earn distress value. Lu Xu would not agree to make such a deal with someone. Chen Bai Li was also astonished. He could see the injuries and blood on Lu Xu's body. Even though he was weak, he could hear the movements in the mountain forest. It was obvious that Lu Xu had fought with that Class B master. Even though the Class B master was seriously injured by myself when last time he came back, the awakened metahuman with Class E strength still shouldn't be able to match up against him? Previously, he was still worried about Lu Xu, but the latter was alive and kicking in front of him as if nothing had happened. Chen Bai Li said weakly, help me up. Lu Xu earnestly helped Chen Bai Li up, and he suddenly heard Chen Bai Li asked, How did you escape from him? Lu Xu paused for a moment, I didn't, we fought, and he ran away. This time, it was Chen Bai Li who paused, ran away? Ran away? What are you boasting about? How could you be able to fight and made the other person ran away? Chen Bai Li distress value, plus 411. Chen Bai Li suppressed his breathing that got disordered again, come come come. Tell me, how could you, who is currently a class E, manage to win against a class B? The first reaction Lu Xu had after listening to this was to ponder. There were rumors that said you cannot hear foreign languages, why were you speaking fluently when you asked about classes? However, Lu Xu didn't dare to ask that. I am not at class E now. Lu Xu laughed buoyantly, I was awakened during the battle just now. Chen Bai Li was obviously stunned. Indeed, a battle between life and death could be able to quicken awakening. There were many people who awakened in this manner, even managed to get over the battle. He uncertainly asked, Class D? Try again. Lu Xu said cheekily. Asking me to try again, are you joking around? Can't you tell me right away? Chan Bai Li distress value, plus 666. Lu Xu saw the distress value and was worried that he might choke on his breath. He quickly said, Class C, Class C. You're an effortless awakening type, Chen Bai Li nodded his head weakly. It was not that there weren't past cases of skipping classes when one awakened. It was usually a lower class jump from Class F to Class D, it was rare to have a jump from Class E to Class C directly. He increasingly wished to get Lu Xu to be his apprentice. His foundation crumbled early, and today the price to pay for a huge battle was not magical power but his lifespan. The predestined lifespan of a practitioner was usually longer than normal people, but he was different from Li Xianyi. 
he thought back to his earlier years when his ill temper caused a huge disaster. In the end, his temper was as bad when he became older. Now that he did not have much time left, his biggest wish was not for the world to become better, but to find a suitable person to inherit his position. There was only one point that Chen Bai Li couldn't understand, even if you are now a Class C awakened metahuman, time is needed for your power to increase. How did you fight till he ran away? How did you do it? Lu Xu muttered, just like that. Chan Bai Li? Can't you just say how you fought? Chan Bai Li distress value, plus 429. Chan Bai Li felt that the suspense of talking to Lu Xu was killing him. However, Lu Xu didn't think of how he was supposed to say it. After fighting a series of battles, the methods were used couldn't be told to other people. Chen Bai Li waved his hands, bring me to the center of the relics when morning comes. I need to buy time to recover. He still did not believe that the Class B Master escaped after fighting Lu Xu. He wanted to rest and regulate his breathing here. In the end, Chen Bai Li was extremely worried that the opponent would recover faster than himself and rise up again. Now, his foundation had been shaken. He needed to stabilize his foundation before seeking to recover his actual power, but the speed of recovery would not be as quick as the opponent. Lu Xu was not pleased from your reaction, do you not believe me? You don't have a trustable face in the first place. You know physiognomy? Please help me to look into my career and marriage. I feel that the lifeline on my palm seems extremely long. Will I be able to live for a long time? Get lost. Once it was dawn, Lu Xiaoyu jumped onto Naughty Pig and led the troops to set off. Chen Zuan is following by the side, he had a sense of proudness that he couldn't hide in his heart. Once he was out of the relics, he would surpass all these juniors. Then, he would have more say in the circle. The chatty little fatty couldn't rest his mouth and suddenly asked, Xiaoyu, why don't you and Lu Xu trust that we will return you the money even with the IOU? The disciples from my family are trustable. This is a problem of our reputation. Honestly, it is not overboard to ask for 500,000 for this military strength. Lu Xiaoyu acknowledged, and as if she got reminded of something, then write me another 420,000 worth of IOU. Lu Xu refreshed a line at the back, Chen Zuan distress value, plus 420. Chen Zuan almost gave himself a slap, she had a foul mouth. To be honest, they were not at a loss even when the military strength was worth 500,000. Furthermore, he had intentions of getting to know the siblings, Lu Xu and Lu Xiaoyu. After all, the pair of siblings was quite interesting. He scratched his head, I have no pen and paper now. Lu Xu took out Little Fury's workbook and pen and said, I have. After Chen Zuan wrote the IOU, he was frank and couldn't help but asked, Xiaoyu, isn't it inconvenient for you to wear a watch on your lower leg? Lu Xiaoyu sneered, how is it inconvenient? You speaking as if you have to transplant rice with me. Chen Zuan. Transplant rice? What about transplanting rice? Lu Xu refreshed a line at the back again, Chen Zuan distress value, plus 611. Lu Xiaoyu had a clear target and rushed towards the open space where Lu Xu and Chen Bai Li were at. During the journey, they passed by the place where Lu Xu fought with the Class B Master. Chen Zuan saw the huge hole that Lu Xu dug in order to throw his lancer, he exclaimed, this battle must have been intense. What kind of strength could have this sort of effect? In actual fact, the hole was not that huge, but Lu Xu dug open everything. It did look a little scary. Till Lu Xiaoyu to lead the troops and Chen Zuan to the initial open space where Chen Bai Li fought, Chen Zuan lost all his words. In front of him, the forest that was about the size of a soccer field was raised to the ground. It was scary. Lu Xiaoyu saw that the open space that Chen Bai Li was supposed to be at was empty, then she turned her head to Chen Zuan. She said coldly, get ready to worship heaven. Chapter 292 The Root of the Injury Lu Xu originally intended to leave with Chen Bai Li as Chen Bai Li said, 
but he later found out that Chen Baili was overly optimistic about his injury. The old Taoist priest now donned ragged clothes. Upon seeing the holes in the clothes, Lu Xu knew that the old Taoist priest faced the same situation as he did. At that time, the other party should have been in a state of full power. The seriously injured Class B Master defeated him and penetrated his celestial cloak. One can imagine how powerful the Class B Master was. Come, I will help you up, Lu Xu took Chen Bai Li's body and wanted to lift him up. As a result, Chen Bai Li was overwhelmed by fatigue. Chen Bai Li sighed and his roots were more severely damaged. If this was not the case, he could have tried defeating Class A after his regaining his magical energy. Unfortunately, he no longer had the power to do so. Lu Xu glanced at Chen Bai Li's state and was stunned, I'll let go and you try to walk on your own. Chen Bai Li fell the moment Lu Xu let go. Lu Xu caught him before he fell to the ground. Exert strength using both legs, overcome your own pain, Lu Xu said. At that point, Chen Bai Li's face fell. Is this a paraplegic rehabilitation center? What is this? Are you helping me learn to walk again? Chan Bai Li's distress value, plus 777. Ahem, Lu Xu felt slightly embarrassed upon seeing Chan Bai Li's distress value. He said, I shall carry you on my back then. Lu Xu hoisted Chan Bai Li on his back. Honestly speaking, with his current strength, piggybacking Chan Bai Li was no more tiring than playing around. He asked, is the core of the relic that way? Chen Bai Li feebly pointed in a certain direction. Lu Xu nodded and started taking giant strides toward the woods in that direction. It wasn't that he didn't know which direction it was, he merely stood by his principle, casually asking Chen Bai Li so as to reveal as little of his ability as possible. It was only then that Lu Xu had time to look at the distress values generated during the battle. Maintain complete focus during the battle, for his opponent was not simply a nobody. If he were to be distracted by the distress value of his opponent, he would be dead meat. However, Lu Xu was also contemplating whether to change his way of combat. This battle made him realize that he could judge the actual damage or level of psychological torment he brought to the other party, based on their distress values. He could thus determine whether the other party was really injured and whether there were any signs of fake injury. This theory seemed more reliable, yet this multitasking skill required further practice to perfect. Lu Xu was stunned. In closest proximity was Chen Zhu An's long list of distress values. After observing a minute of silence out of courtesy, Lu Xu continued flipping. This white man was called Anthony Smith. This wasn't a useful clue, for Anthony was a common name, and the surname Smith was carried by several million people. This greatly increased Lu Xu's distress value, causing it to hit 1,000 at times. On the whole, these distress values would have hit a minimum of 10,000. However, the distress values did not provide time stamps, thus there was no indication of when the distress values increased. As a matter of fact, Lu Xu's biggest takeaway this time was not the distress values, but the battling experience with the expert. Honestly, what Lu Xu lacked most was experience in a real battle. He did have quite a number of fights in empty Beimang, yet he played against more skeletons than humans. The last batch of more powerful terracotta soldiers did not even dare to fight back. The Corspa dog also caused the Class C Japanese spy to explode. How was that even a real battle? Lu Xu came out of empty Beimang feeling unfinished. As a result, this battle with the injured class B master revealed to Lu Xu a simple truth, he was now very powerful. An injured class B master was still a class B, no? But of course, if he had unleashed all his power, the white sand hitting on the celestial cloak would not be penetrable purely due to large quantity, but instead, would exude threat every moment. It was said that the distress value accumulated by Lu Xu was enough to light up the first star in the third layer of nebula. The distress value of 100,000 was more or less provided by small animals, except that they could not eat fruits in Chun Bai Li's presence now. 
However, Lu Xu found that even after the animal's teeth extraction, the frequency of the animals providing distress values were slowly decreasing. Lu Xu was a little unhappy as they weren't learning their lesson. Not long after entering the woods, Lu Xu was about to stop the recording of distress points when he saw that Chen Zuan and Chen Bai Li's distress values continuously refreshing, and no matter what happened to Chen Zuan, after all, Lu Xu didn't know where he was. Coming back to Chen Bai Li, Lu Xu took a glance back and realized that he was too focused on avoiding the tree branches along the way, and did not realize that the branches were hitting Chen Bai Li's face. Several pieces of leaves were stuck in Chen Bai Li's hair, and his face turned completely from pale to black. <laughs> I'm so sorry, I didn't notice, Lu Xu said with guilt written on his face. He had to be guilty, Chen Bai Li was a heavenly king after all. Lu Xu continued to move forward, till he suddenly felt the compass in his pocket beginning to vibrate. Lu Xu stopped. He felt abnormal aura fluctuations on his left. He was alarmed at once. Please let it not be some top-tier beast. Lu Xu turned around and shook Chen Bai Li. However, not only did he not get any response, the distress values of Chen Bai Li disappeared too. Lu Xu felt that something was amiss and hurriedly asked, Heavenly King? Heavenly King? Still no response. Shocked, Lu Xu quickly lay Chen Bai Li against a tree. He realized Chen Bai Li had completely lost his mind. He had interacted with Li Xian before and knew well that veteran experts like him had damage on their foundation. Honestly, he wasn't sure if Chen Bai Li was injured because of this. Yet, based on reason, he shouldn't have been injured so seriously. Look at how the white man master was still full of life even after the battle. Lu Xu was not sure. In fact, the white man master would have been very aware of Chen Bai Li's weakness when he accepted the battle. His intention was never to have a life and death battle with Chen Bai Li. He knew he would not be able to beat Chen Bai Li. But it did not matter, as long as he held Chen Bai Li back and bounced back himself, he would sooner or later be able to defeat this Chinese heavenly king. Lu Xu checked Chen Bai Li's breathing. Fortunately, he simply fainted. Chapter 293 Meeting Little Fury Coincidentally Part 2 After Lu Xu confirmed that Chen Bai Li was still breathing, he concentrated on preparing to fight. The magical energy on the left felt rich and overwhelming, and Lu Xu was worried that he might not be able to fight what might be coming. However, nothing came after waiting for half a day. Lu Xu felt that something was off. That magical energy didn't move a single bit, it didn't come nearer neither did it go further. This place is not a holy site, right? Lu Xu had faced too much danger in the relics. Now that he was facing the magical energy, he unconsciously thought that it is offensive, and concentrated on preparing to fight it. It was only now that he suddenly thought of an issue, there were not only offensive living creatures in the relics, there were also treasures. After Lu Xu had this thought, he became motivated. He proceeded on while he carried the old priest on his back. The corpse of the dog and the concealed arrow in the celestial map were ready, and his hands were even readier to be prepared to throw out his lance. However, after traveling only for a short distance, the forest became broader, the downslope because steeper as if it was a mountain stream. He followed the path of the steep downslope carefully, and he actually heard faint sounds of water. The air in this area seemed to even moister than other areas. Lu Xu was stunned suddenly. Under his feet, he saw a small amount of stream flowing between the gaps of mountain stones. The steam is deep within the gap, if he didn't pay close attention, he wouldn't be able to see it. Furthermore, the stream contained a high concentration of magical energy. It was comparable to Lu Xu's idea of magical stones. There is no need to care about this now, Lu Xu continued to carry Chen Bai Li on his back and walked towards the upstream. The magical energy became richer, while the sound of the stream became louder and louder. Right after exiting the mountain stones, the originally narrow upstream became an open space. Lu Xu actually saw fascinating matters and objects. 
This time, the scenery that greeted his eyes was an extremely clear blue pond. It was so clear that it was able to refresh one's soul with just a look of it. It was like looking at the Jiujai Valley that is pollution-free, like a picturesque. In the middle of the pond, there was a green plant that had three blue flowers blooming. The blooming speed was extremely quick, similar to the appearance of the epiphyllum. However, Lu Xu was very sure that it wasn't epiphyllum. He could feel that all of the magical energy seems as if it came from the root of this plant. However, this wasn't the weirdest, the weirdest was. Little Fury, what are you doing? Lu Xu asked. In front of him, Little Fury was by the shore and confronting a little green snake which was in the pond. Little Fury didn't enter the pond, nor did the little snake go onto the shore. The moment Little Fury turned and saw Lu Xu, the latter could see the plus one plus one plus one started to flow from the back end of Little Fury. What is this situation, shouldn't him be happy to be able to see himself? The little green snake also looked towards Lu Xu, the eyes were cold without any feelings. Lu Xu tapped Chen Bai Li who was on his back. Old man? There was no reaction after some time and Lu Xu was relieved, but this is not the end. He took out a short-sleeved black t-shirt from the seal of land and placed it on top of Chen Bai Li's head. Then, the next moment, the corpse of dog flew out from the celestial map. Just looking at the speed, the little snake could be seen as becoming level D. But it was still that logic, even if it was fast, it wasn't as fast as the corpse of dog. Lu Xu chopped the little snake into two with one stroke of the sword and it got drawn down by the magical pond into the downstream. After Little Fury had a look, its heart felt frightened. The enemy whom it was confronting for so long, was easily dealt with by Lu Xu with just one stroke of his sword. What, it didn't think that this fellow Lu Xu was any special when they were in Beimang relics in the past. But after they came out, it saw that it was absolutely wrong about it. After Lu Xu gave a look at the flower in the pond, he asked puzzledly, There is nothing special about this flower, what are you looking at? After Little Fury thought for two minutes, it started to write. Lu Xu scratched his head, using writing to talk, are all the homework wasted? Little Fury distress value, plus one plus one plus one. It dipped its little paws into the water and wrote on the stones along the shore, I am looking at F.A., this F.A. is really pretty. You may go ahead first, I will catch up with you later. Lu Xu was stunned after seeing the sentence. Then, he lifted Little Fury over, even his fingers were dipped into the water. What is this pronunciation, it's looking at flower, hua, not looking at fa. What was your hometown build of? I'll punish you to write hua twenty times. Little Fury? Was this the place to do homework? I knew there would be no good thing since I saw you. Little Fury distress value, plus one plus one plus one. But now is not the time to think about this, Little Fury quickly dipped its paws into the water and wrote Hugh for twenty times. Then it wrote, you go ahead first. Lu Xu looked at Little Fury with the corners of his mouth curled up, there is something wrong with this flower right? Little Fury distress value, plus one plus one. This flower has benefits for you, right? It's from. You're scared that I will snatch it from you, right? Can I be someone like that? I am. Little Fury lied on the shore in a flash, it messed up, there is no more treasure. However, Little Fury wasn't sure why something is weird about the look of Lu Xu looking at its two front teeth. Even though it was not sure what was going on, it instinctively kept his teeth in its mouth. Right at this moment, the petals suddenly began to fall into the water. It became a glittering and translucent blue light and disappeared after bending into the water. At this moment Lu Xu could feel that when one petal withered off, the magical energy of the water became one level richer. That's wrong, it's not the water that has magical energy, but it is the power of this flower petal. He couldn't care much anymore. Lu Xu left Chen Bai Li on the shore immediately and stepped into the pond that was not knee deep. As each petal withered, he would use the seal of land to keep it. When this flower petal meets water, it will transform into the rich magical energy, 
but nothing happened when it fell into the palms. Lu Xu collected eleven petals in total, the rest had fallen into the water previously. At this time, the plant in the pond is still three little green branches that were barren. He roughly had a feel of it and realized one petal was probably worth the richness of ten magical stones. It's no wonder that this magical energy of the pond was so rich. He did not think that he could have such a huge gain even after entering the relics. Then, even before he turned to return to the shore, transparent blue fruit grew from the three barren green branches. Little Fury who was by the shore sat up in a moment. Lu Shu came to a sudden realization, so this was what Little Fury and that little green snake were waiting for. Waiting till the moment when the three blue fruits stopped growing, the entire mountain stream emitted a faint lucid fragrance. In one reach, Lu Shu managed to keep all three fruits into the seal of lands. This thing might be edible, but now it was not the time to eat it yet. Who knows what will happen after eating it? Little Fury was in despair when it saw Lu Shu kept the blue fruits. Chen Bai Li who was unconscious on the shores seemed to be awakened by this environment that had extremely rich magical energy. He asked weakly, Lu Shu, is it nighttime already? Lu Shu immediately started to think about how he should explain it is only in the afternoon. After seeing the black t-shirt that is still on Chen Bai Li's head. Chapter 294, The Disappearance of Magical Energy Lu Xu pondered, should I say that I was afraid my head would catch a cold, so I used a shirt to keep myself warm? I guess not. Should I say that I was afraid I would be blinded by the midday sunlight? This should not do either. What should I do right now to not be hated by the heavenly kings? At this moment, Lu Xu suddenly thought, even if he managed to explain why he was using a shirt to cover his head, how should he explain about the three bare green branches? In a split second, Lu Xu suddenly got an idea and exchanged for three refresher fruits from a shop. However, on second thought, he was never a generous person. He threw a refresher fruit to Little Fury and gave him a look to be quiet about it. Life still has to go on, every savings count, giving Little Fury a refresher fruit was better than giving an outsider one. Within a short period of two minutes, Little Fury who was feeling upset became ecstatic. Even though the blue fruit was stolen away, having a refresher fruit is good enough. Being in this relics, it was able to quickly absorb magical energy. Seeing how the pinnacle had stopped moving at class E, a refresher fruit was needed right now to increase one's ability quickly. Having eaten the refresher fruit, Little Fury was on its way to becoming a level D. Although he still wouldn't be able to win a fight against the siblings, he surely can win against other small animals. Lu Xu put the remaining two refresher fruits into his pocket, followed the lake and headed towards the shore. He removed the shirt from Chan Bai Li's head only to be stared right back. <laughs> it is still afternoon old man, are you surprised? Chan Bai Li stared right at Lu Xu angrily. Chan Bai Li distress value, plus 666. Where are we at? Chan Bai Li asked weakly. We are in the relics. Lu Xu laughed innocently. Chan Bai Li distress value, plus 312. Help me sit up, speaking to the idiot was too tiring, Chen Bai Li decided to look around the surroundings by himself. Lu Xu helped Chen Bai Li to lean against the mountain wall as Chen Bai Li scanned the surroundings. He immediately saw the clear pond and the three green branches within it. The fruits from the branches had obviously been picked. Chen Bai Li turned and looked at Lu Xu, what about the fruits on the branches? It ate it. Lu Xu pointed toward Little Fury who had been chewing the refresher fruit. At that moment, Little Fury felt lost and realized that he was made use to carry the blame. Little Fury almost wanted to smash the refresher fruit on the floor out of anger but was reluctant to do so. Seeing that the old Taoist priest has not reacted, Little Fury immediately ate finished the remaining refresher fruit and showed its empty hands, finished. Chen Bai Li turned toward Lu Xu with a face of disbelief, you actually fed the earth's treasure to him. Lu Xu unhappily said, I was not willing either, but it stole it away. Do you think I will believe your nonsense? 
A level C powerful metahuman can lose against a small squirrel and let it steal a refresher fruit? Chan Bai Li angrily asked, where is the other two refresher fruit? Ate it. I ate it. Lu Xu unyieldingly said. After saying that, Lu Xu carefully monitored the face of the old Taoist priest as he was afraid that he would get in trouble. However, what he thought would happen did not occur. Chen Bai Li waved his hand, you do not need to be afraid that I would steal your things. I am the heavenly king, why would I want to steal from a student like you? If you ate it then so be it. Remember to update the higher authorities about the effect of the refresher fruit so that they can write a report on it. Lu Xu was stunned for a moment. Chen Bai Li was not being a hypocrite, he really was not angry. He would not steal from a student as he felt disdain towards him. Lu Xu felt something tugging his heart, this is the magnanimity of the heavenly king. Lu Xu took out the two refresher fruits from his pocket and gave it to the old Taoist priest, you should eat one first heavenly king, it might aid your injuries, remember to count my merit when we leave this place, I think that I have the charisma to be a lieutenant commander. As an old Taoist priest, I have lived up to 80 years old, but you have been the most shameless one that I have met thus far. Chen Bai Li sighed, you should eat it, this is your chance. No, 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 you should eat it, Lu Xu said anxiously. His aptitude for abilities is already at his maximum, it would be a waste if he ate the refresher fruit. He would rather use this chance to get more merit and a raise. When he gets his promotion, every month he would get more magical stones and by then he can find a suitable black market. Chen Bai Li felt that something was not right, when did Lu Xu become so humble? However, he could not find out where went wrong. In the end, Lu Xu forced a refresher fruit into the old Taoist priest mouth. The old Taoist priest was still very weak hence he could not fight against the strength of Lu Xu. Lu Xu then placed the other refresher fruit into the hands of the old Taoist priest, do not forget my efforts. Chan Bai Li Distress Value, plus 111 Even though Lu Xu was being considerate for him, Chen Bai Li felt strange that he was unable to feel grateful towards Lu Xu. What kind of special charisma is this? At this moment, Chen Bai Li suddenly felt a wave of warmth spreading through his body from the fruit into the broken ruins of his body, repairing all the broken bones. His body suddenly became full of vitality, it felt like it changed from a cold winter night to a blooming summer season. The bottleneck barrier that has been restricting him unexpectedly started to melt away like glaciers, and disintegrate like the blue ocean. Lu Xu was shocked. He suddenly felt a huge current of magical energy from the relic flowing into the body of the old Taoist priest in front of him. This feeling is too intense? Is the old Taoist priest going to break through? Gao Yi was bringing his people to walk around the forest, all of a sudden, the weird tree beside them start to wither quickly and instantly became a dead tree. With a light touch, the branches turn into dust. Not only did it happen with Gao Yi, Wang Xian Kai and Fu Hong Shui saw this astonishing sight as well. The magical energy in the surrounding area within 10 kilometers instantly disappeared. The grass was not affected because they had no magical energy, humans and beasts were not affected as well. It seems that those plants that had no magical energy and those livestocks with magical energy were all not affected. However, those weird trees with magical energy have all withered. The whole area within 10 kilometers. While Lu Xu was still dumbfounded, Chen Bai Li in front of him suddenly start to float up from the ground, as if he could navigate through the air by flying. The next moment Chen Bai Li faced Lu Xu and sincerely thanked him with clasped hands, today, I was finally able to see the sprout of spring, in another ten years of no advancements and obstacles, all thanks to you. I Chen Bai Li owe you a huge favor. Chapter 295, I Can't Have It To be honest, Lu Xu had never thought that a single refresher fruit could actually have such great effect. It promoted Chen Bailey straight up to a class A, is he the first class A in the world? From Chen Bailey's words, one could deduce that he had been having the bottleneck for a great many decades. It was all due to the damaged foundation. Now that his foundation was restored, all breakthroughs were assured. 
Li Xiani once said, the bottlenecks in this world were like a ceiling. When everyone was stuck at that level, it would seem impossible to break through. However, when the first person break through the ceiling, it would be like a revolution in history and the standards of all human would rise once again. According to what Lu Xian said, to break through into class A would no longer be the issue of simply an individual. Once Chen Bailey broke through, the heavenly network would have an exchange regarding the breaking through of the bottleneck. Following that, Chen Bailey's experience would be used to enhance the network's promotion as a whole. However, this was not an era of greatness for the nation's practitioners. When the class A of a country exchange blows with other superhumans and practitioner organizations, the opponents would also glean some rules and gradually attempt at breaking through themselves. Good thing is, this time the Chinese practitioners were at the forefront. Lu Xu looked with mixed feelings at a bowing Chen Bailey before him. He quickly held Chen Bailey up, Heavenly King, please, you are too polite, I will remember this favor, don't you forget my contributions. From Chen Bailey's distress points, plus 66. Chen Bailey's impression was that a normal person would be more humble and decline out of modesty for him to insist. Then they would go on for a few rounds, but Lu Xu was clearly not a normal person with the typical humbleness. That being said, Chen Bailey himself was not a hypocrite. When he said to remember this favor, he would. Hence, the distress points produced were so few. The points were purely due to Lu Xu's character and not this issue. Chen Bailey stood up straight. He passed the refresher fruit in his hand to Lu Xu, I have no use for this anymore. It can help in elevating your capabilities. Here, eat it. Lu Xu was stunned. How could he? He had thought about this problem previously. Should he say straight up that he had a pill already and give Chen Bailey only one? In that way, he could still bring back one surreptitiously for Li Xieni. He only have to say that he got it in the remains. However, after much thought, he concluded that this was not feasible. In the heavenly network, the class A and BS were all coupled with magical stones. If he eat one, Chen Bailey would ask him to measure his capabilities again. When that happened, the secret of his capabilities would be exposed. If he was truly a class A, things would be easier. Unfortunately, Lu Xu was not. Back then, when the drop of blood came into contact with the sodium-potassium alloy, it produced a color not indicated on the color scale. It had surpassed the class A capabilities. How could he explain to the heavenly network a sodium-potassium alloy which was sparkling like stars? Hence, he could not eat the refresher fruit in Chun Bailey's presence nor could he even let Chen Bailey think that he had eaten. He really wanted to take this chance to present old master Li Xiani the refresher fruit. He had only just recalled Xiaoyu telling him that a classmate called Shi Xuejin once had a chat with Li Xiani. The heavenly network promised if the treasure of heaven and earth to restore foundation could be found, it would definitely be given to Li Xiani. If so, would the person really give the refresher fruit to Li Xiani as promised? All the oaths of alliance on this world were seemingly meant to be broken. However, Lu Xu felt that he could give this a bet. Even if he bet wrongly, it only meant a loss of 1,000 distress points. If there were other heavenly king like Chen Bailey who had their practice restricted due to damage and foundation, this could be considered his contribution to them to ensure stability in the organization. If he bet right, Li Xiani's problem would be resolved. Lu Xu also wished to take this chance to see what was the heavenly network like. Or take a look at the heavenly king Ye Ting, to see if he is as upright and honorable as legend had it. It was merely 1,000 distress points. This little thing would seem rare to Chen Bailey and the rest, but it meant nothing to Lu Xu. Even if he did not manage to get a refresher fruit for Li Xiani this time, he could still find an opportunity to do so in the future. Let's bet. Heavenly King, Lu Xu suddenly blurted, his words firm. How could I eat such an important thing, you should take it. I can't have it. As a successor of socialism, I can't be so selfish. Chen Bailey always felt that there was something funny with Lu Xu. 
However, Lu Xu had been clearly so firm in his belief and selfless. Had he been the one harboring preconceived impressions and wronging this young man? No matter what, this young man is pretty fine as a whole. The heavenly network is at its developmental stage, such an ambitious youth is of great. The nation will be strong when the youths are. Silently, Chen Bailey sighed deeply. Lu Xu suddenly asked curiously, if this little thing is a fruit, then it should have issues of freshness and expiry, right? How should it be kept? No worries, Chen Bailey gave a wave of his Taoist robe sleeve and in his hand appeared an exquisite little jade case. The old Taoist priest carefully placed the refresher fruit into the jade case and quickly closed the lid. Lu Xu could feel the case's strong magical pulse. It was probably a treasure too. At this moment, the pool of water containing large amount of magical energy turned into a normal-looking body of water after Chin Bailey's breakthrough. The plant in the water also began to wilt after Lu Xu plucked the fruit. Washed by the water currents, the plant transformed into a pile of shimmering powder and fell into the water, never to be seen again. Lu Xu heaved a sigh of relief upon seeing this. He had initially thought how nice it would be if he could be lucky enough to get hold of the Matrix Eye. In the future, he might even return to explore a little. However, now that Chen Bailey broke through Class A, Lu Xu felt that he no longer had to keep thinking about things such as the Matrix Eye. To compete for the Matrix Eye with a Class A master, the very notion made Lu Xu feel sore. It's good that this plant died. It would save Chen Bailey the trouble of discovering, when he returned to the remains again. <laughs> Why is the plant bearing blue fruits? Shouldn't they be red? Lu Xu would chuckle at that. Chen Bailey suddenly brought up an old topic, would you be willing to make me your teacher? This time, Lu Xu still shook his head, I think I'm pretty fine now. Thank you for your kindness. Awakening is enough, cultivation is too tiring. To Lu Xu, cultivation was certainly tiring. However, he did possess the resilience to persevere on, but he could not let Chen Bailey know that. He had always wanted to simply help in the fights, then take his leave once the deeds were done. How cool would that be? Lu Xu thought, highly pleased with himself. However, Chen Bailey did not insist this time. He had once again break through his predestined lifespan and no longer had to worry about being reduced to dust all the time. He still had much time left. Furthermore, a fruit plucked prematurely would not be sweet. Chen Bailey stopped thinking about this issue for the time being. If he were to meet Lu Xiaoyu again, he would ask her once more. What does it mean to be happy? Cause it looks like we all don't know Glass half full or empty And we just put them on the show Try to look to the heavens